Well, find them, goddammit. Go see if he fell in the john and get him over here. Son of a bitch. No chief. Who's running the goddamn store? Can't raise Ogar? No. Not a mayor either. Hmm. That's not good. They're running. They wouldn't dare. I don't know, Leo. I warned you not to hit Casper's club. I'm still here, ain't I? Casper's play hurts you anyway. <laughs> Sorry, son of a bitch just slit his own throat. He just made me decide to step on him. Listen to me, Leo. Last night made you look vulnerable. You don't hold elected office in this town. You run it because people think you run it. Once they stop thinking it, you stop running it. Jesus, Tom. Sounds like a bad break for me. I wasn't killed. I mean it, Leo. Start taking Casper seriously. Don't sing the blues to me again, Tommy. I need your help. He shoots. We got to answer. That's what got you in this mess. I know. I know. Retreat to win. Give up, Bernie. That'll solve all our problems. Not anymore, it won't. I'll grant that. Now it's either you or Casper. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the psychopath will get you nowhere. It'll force everyone to choose sides just when you're looking shaky. The hell I do. And where's the mayor? Why aren't there any police here? Why weren't there police at your place last night? I didn't ask for any. I did. Mother hen, huh? What's the matter, Tommy? You think I can't take care of myself? I know you can't. Here's the smart play, Leo. You lay back. You give up Bernie. You let Casper think he's made his point. Then you wait for him to show you a weakness. Please, Tom. You're sticking on Bernie. You're sticking your neck out for a guy that would chop you off of the heels if there were two bits in it. Tom, it ain't as clear cut as you make it. Bernie, well, hell, you know about me and Berna. Right now, things are, not that I haven't been a gentleman, but I plan to ask her to marry me, Tom. I know you think that's a bonehead play. You think she wants you to? How the hell do I know, Tom? I think she does. I mean, yeah, of course she does. I know, I know, you think different, but we could just differ on that. Leo, Casper didn't kill Rug. Of course he did. No, think about it, just this once. Who was Rug following? Huh? It needn't have been so sinister. A strange man following her down a dark alley late at night. I told you, Leo, she can take care of herself. Tom. Why are you saying that? Christ, Tom, I just told you I planned to marry him. He pulled a 22 slug out of him. A pop gun, Leo. A woman's gun. That's a whiskey dream. Verna wouldn't panic, shoot someone, just because he was following her. No, it wouldn't have happened that way at all in the first place. And if it had, she would have told me. I know you don't like it, Tom, but I trust Verna as much as I trust you. And on her account, you burn the town down. Don't worry, Tom. We'll still be standing when the smoke clears. Okay, Leo. And maybe, maybe it wasn't so innocent. Maybe Rug knew something she didn't like him knowing. Something, something she didn't want you to know. He was following her. He knew who she was seeing, where she was sleeping, with who. Maybes don't make it so. There are more than maybes. He trusted me before and never lost anything by it. Trust me on this. This is too important. I don't ask much, and I don't ask often. Trust me on this. Tommy. Trust me on this or the hell with you. You don't mean that. She was at my place. The night that Rug was following her. 
the night you drop by.